I'm Professor Michael Ying. My research focuses on health technology and informatics, particularly on ultrasound diagnosis and monitoring. Our team's latest translational research focuses on the development of a computer-aided diagnostic tool called Smart CKD, also known as SCKD, to advance the clinical management of chronic kidney disease. Early diagnosis and active monitoring are essential in preventing disease progression from chronic kidney disease to end-stage kidney disease, which is categorized by renal fibrosis. SCKD integrates ultrasound data and selected clinical variables to provide clinical insight and assess the risk of moderate to severe renal fibrosis progression in patients with chronic kidney disease. In a significant breakthrough, SCKD is accessible for both an online web-based platform and an offline document-based format. We have created this as a user-friendly auxiliary instrument for flexible clinical applications. SCKD is a real-time reliable and non-invasive tool that assists medical practitioners in assessing the risk of renal fibrosis in patients with chronic kidney disease during routine clinical practices. This diagnostic approach plays a crucial role in guiding treatment decisions improving patient prognosis, and subsequently offering advantages in clinical management, counseling, decision-making on treatment regimens, and scheduling follow-ups. Although renal biopsy remains the gold standard for diagnosing and staging renal fibrosis, its invasive nature imposes limitations in conducting multiple observations, follow-ups, and having potential complications. Therefore, there is a pressing need to develop a non-invasive biomarker for precise monitoring and clinical management of renal fibrosis and its progression. The primary aim of inventing SCKD is to enable easy and ubiquitous applications in clinical management even in the face of resource constraints. The Health Bureau of Hong Kong has introduced the Chronic Disease Co-Care Pilot Scheme, promoting primary health care with a shift from curative treatment to disease prevention. We hope our team's innovative technology can contribute to the plan and advance healthcare development, not only in Hong Kong, but also beyond. Moving forward, our research will focus on utilizing artificial intelligence technology, such as deep learning, to develop a fully automated diagnostic model.